Hello, and welcome. We're going to do some Tetris attack today. I did have a bit of a problem here. Uh, for some reason my auto host did not stop auto hosting and I uh, had to manually unhost the stream to get my own stream to play. Thank you. 
bloody thing clear. Four in I haven't even done my chat properly because I was too flustered. All just trying to get everything working properly. There we go. Now we're good to go. Sorry about the shaky start there. 
I don't know what was the problem. I kept had to completely disable auto host because it just auto host just kept kicking in and hosting. You know the same Twitch channel. Totally not looking at my level, level 21. So following my usual, uh, I'm not going to look at it. I think on this on the endless mode, it's best just to concentrate on just keeping the board low. It's to take too much of a risk. 
risk of trying to get more out so you can get chains. You can if you want to work your score, but... I guess I might nearly fall asleep today, like yesterday was bad. I had to fight not to close off. Well, what can I say? Not the best I've ever done. But it's still a result. Hey, Wanel, what's up? How's it going? How's your um, Tuesday going? I have to think what day it was for a second here. Coffee. I got mine here. I'm um, a little bit more awake. Yesterday I was very tired while I was streaming, and uh, as I may have said to you before, um, coffee doesn't keep me awake. I won't say caffeine doesn't affect me, but it doesn't. I can drink coffee and then go straight to bed. That's... Energy drinks and stuff like that will give me headaches if I have too many of them, so I don't tend to touch them, but so I don't know what the deal is. But I still enjoy my coffee, I just can't use it as a tool to keep awake, because it don't work.
Oh, it helps you focus. Ah, uh, good. For most people, it does keep them awake. But... I have trouble in the mornings. And I always stay up so late, as you as you know, because I tend when I catch your streams and stuff, it's always very late for me. I'm like, uh, right now it's like nearly 4 p.m. But uh, I used to. I go to bed late. I get up late. But if I get up too early, I just can't stay awake. I used to. I used to have trouble at work as well when I used to work at, um, early in the morning. I started work at 5 a.m. and I would like. I just couldn't, couldn't keep them, no matter what, how much sleep I had, I just could not wake up. So I tend to go to bed at 2 or 3 and get up at 10 or 11 now. And this was before the... Uh, before the current situation, this was a long time ago I've started doing. I have to be, uh, my wife is disabled and I'm her full time carer, so I'm at home all the time anyway. So I've got used to that sort of routine, unless there's anywhere we have to go. Which I have to get up for, but other than that, that suits me better. <laughs> For me, it's 10. If I'm up before 10, I just can't function. I have my morning before I go to bed, if that makes sense. And then I just, it's, it's different, it's better in the summer when it's light for longer because you can get more done. But if I do have to get up early, I, it feels better because I get up and I get a lot done, but I just can't do it. So I do what my body tells me. Be a great astronomer. Yeah, it interests me as well. Astronomer. I just can't be bothered. I used to, when I was young, I had a telescope and I used to sit outside because the best time to see stars is when it's really cold and frosty outside. And I used to sit outside in the freezing cold from the telescope. I, just, I couldn't do that now. Hey there, Quebs. Tetris attack, Tetris attack. Yeah, it was lovely. It was nice. You know, I had a weird thing happen to me, Quebs, today, when I was trying to start streaming. I... I was... Uh, I had my auto host on and it was hosting a channel that I got on the auto host list and I started streaming and it wouldn't switch the auto host off so I manually unhosted and then it started auto hosting the same channel and it kept kicking in so I had to turn auto host completely off otherwise I would have been able to stream you got a lot of sleep webs nice
I thought I'd probably do some Tetris Attack today and tomorrow, but and I'm not sure about Pokemon Puzzle League. I don't really particularly like it. So I might not even bother playing that this time around. Just stick with the old Tetris Attack and Hammer Department. Can't go wrong with either of those. Dr. Robotrix Mean Bean Machine. I'm... I... Don't get on well with Sonic. I don't mind, but... Oh, I can play Sonic to a point. Worst Sonic game is Sonic 2, and all that because of all that freaking water and the fit water physics and the drowning and oh, I just can't. I can't play it for long. Hey. Oh, you played that as a kid. I've, mostly if I play Sonic and Sonic 1. Hey. 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 Why they rebranded this Tetris attack, I have no idea because it's... It really isn't. It really is Tetris, isn't it? It's absolutely Tetris. Well, it's not Tetris. It's Panel de Palm. We all know it is, but they rebranded it Tetris Attack for some weird and wonderful reason. Sonic has high cholesterol. <laughs> oh, 
Probably neither, is it, Quabs? I should imagine you're working and watching at the moment. I popped into one L stream last night and I said, I'm here alone, I don't have Quabs attached to me today. Because after you, after you went to bed, um, Quabs, I popped in to um, see one L a little bit before I went to bed. I don't think I'd seen that before, one well, I It seemed familiar, kind of like I should know what it was, but I'd not played it, I don't think. I don't mind cold coffee, but not that kind of coffee cold. Okay, this column at this end is getting too high. So... Sometimes it doesn't.
Quite besides a little, uh, what should I say, a little fascination with fairies, don't you? Because when I'm playing Pan of the Pond, uh, Quems in here would always go on about, uh, would, would always make fun of me for playing it because of the fairies, the fairy princesses in it. And then uh, we got on one day and said, well, I said, well, let's have a game of it together. So we did. And uh, the Quems, G Force, Trap Shot, all playing it together. I should what? Projecting my feelings onto others? Mm -hmm. It's not me. What's up? Right. Okay. Yeah. So much for staying in the box and protecting yourself against COVID, eh? I know, but still. He had COVID, didn't he? Staying in the box, staying in the box doesn't necessarily protect you. You've got to get your immune system built up. Do you actually have to go out to work, 1L, or do you work from home at the moment? Okay, you're not allowed to go to work, fair enough. Why don't you just use a leaf blower quips like you did before? Ah. 
Oh, okay, because StarCraft is the same. It should open in a new tab if you're on a desktop, but obviously if you're not, maybe not. That was weird what happened to why my, my auto host wouldn't stop working. And it was the same channel it kept hosting as well. It's almost as if she was trying to hijack my stream. <laughs> Pretty sure she wasn't, but... So for now, I've just turned all my hosts completely off. I just manually host somebody when I finish and then... My old uh, starting whenever you want to, whenever I start screen will be up. My offline screen, that's what that's what you call it, don't you? Try a snowblower next time, Quebs. See if that works on the keyboard. Make sure you can pick the keys back up again and find them. Normally, I don't know if I'd want to do it with these LED keyboards that I've got, but with my normal keyboards, I just unplug them, soak them, and then dry them off. And when they dry, I plug them back in again. Sometimes you've got to pop the keys off if you want to give it a really thorough clean, but I don't think I'd want to soak the LED ones. I don't know how, what it would do to the LEDs if I did. They're not terrifically expensive, they're only cheap tat really, but they light up. And I used to use them more when I used to stream with the lights off, but... up a little bit at uh, one time I put I had my full uh, I had my Instagram account I don't know why I've got my Instagram account linked to my Twitch because my Instagram has got nothing to do with my streams whatsoever my um, Twitter and my Discord have but my Instagram hasn't so I had to change to Simon WGB on there because I have my full name and I'm a PlayStation and I'm a PS4 I mean Quebs already knows my um He was trying to... Quebs already knows my um, full name and address. But... So you know my full name, and I showed him a picture of my uh, house on Google Maps. So... keep promising to order me pizza and hasn't done it yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding by the way, Quaves. I don't really expect you to order me pizza. Don't you dare. Never do that. At the end of the day, it's up to you what you feel the risks are and what you want to do. You know, uh, everything I I go online with is Simon WGB anyway now. Except if my computer gets restarted, you might see my full name, but 
if it gets accidentally seen, it's not a big idea, big um, deal. I mean, but I really don't want my full my address being plastered online, though. I'm not going to be putting a picture of my house on on stream or on my Twitter or anything. people who I've been in the, who I see in my stream on regular you know to get my address you'd have to I'd have to really trust you and I'm, I'm, I do trust webs not to uh, not to give it to anybody not to do anything which is why I, why I did that but and there might be a couple of other people who come into my stream who I think would be alright as well, but I never really know. Besides, what would anybody want to do to me, you know? I've got, I've got no money, I've got nothing worth, you know, I'm not important, I'm not worth kidnapping. Oh, is it the person who uh, who sent you that other stuff? Who sent you the Genesis? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? So I remember him, them telling you they were going to do it. people I meet are fine but there's been a couple who have been like questionable and Quebs had a, you had a psychopath didn't you Quebs so it's just depends on who it's like everything else They're, people are people and you have to be careful but most people are okay most people are at least okay if not good people but there is just that 1% who are not. And that's true in society, not just online. Hey, Dwarven Dad, what's up? Oh no, no, Dwarven Dad's, Dwarven Dad's okay as well. Dwarven Dad's not the 1% that we were talking about. We were just saying uh, that most people on Twitch, most about, about uh, leaking our real names and our addresses on Twitch, we were saying 99% of people would be okay, but there is just that 1% that isn't, and that's why you have to be careful. (laughs) 
Yes. Well, yeah, but cyber security is, is one thing. Like if you put in like a bank account and stuff like that, you expect that to be secure. But if you're on Twitch and in general, the thing I say on any kind of social media, streaming, Facebook, anything you're on, don't say anything that you don't want people to know. Like, I'm sitting here now, don't say anything that I wouldn't say if we weren't like all sitting in a bar or something together. I wouldn't go around saying all this, that and the other, you know. I've got a slight advantage with with uh, with Dwarven Dad Quebs. Hey Trap Shot, how you doing? And um, one hour I've actually seen you, so I know at least know who you are. But I still don't know anybody per anybody on Twitch personally. Even some of my uh, friends on Twitch, like uh, Quebs, for example. Still the only one that has my full name and address. I would emphasize that. Yeah, my Twitter account is pretty much just Twitch stuff. It's not officially just Twitch stuff, but I do have a Facebook account, but I don't share that at all. That's just, well, I share it, but not with Twitch. And it's not linked to my Instagram either. Which I don't know why I swear I share that with Twitch to be honest, because it's got nothing to do with streaming, but... I guess one day I'm hoping to put streaming related stuff on it. It's just got pictures of my cats. And pretty much that's it. Three cats and a dog. That's what I have. We are looking into getting another dog as well. in here now you can't see her but she's over there behind me in the chair the microphone's in the way so you can't see her but Finally lost it. And the cat that's the emote is actually Luli. She and she I don't um, she passed away a while ago. A couple of years ago now. Yorkies are nice dogs. Some of them can be a little temperamental, but like some of those small dogs, but Yorkies are pretty nice normally. The Roxy looks like a real cutie. Yeah, we've still got three cats as we've got another one after she passed away and we have two more, but she was one that me and my wife got her when we first moved in somewhere together. And uh, it was, it, she was just been with us such a long time. She got a problem with her kidneys. And, uh... Hello. 
But yeah, Roxy does look like a real cutie when I've seen the pictures I've seen of her. Looks like a lovely little dog. I've never been much of a dog person, but when we got General, I was like, well, you know, he's not so bad. I told my wife, okay, you want a dog, that's fair enough, but you look after him. You take him for walks, I'll tolerate him. No, I don't. I, I do a lot more than just tolerate him. General likes to sleep on the bed, and General's a big dog, but he, if he positions himself right, he's fine. He can fit kind of between us, or he can fit on the bottom of the bed, and he's fine. But if he doesn't position himself right, then one of us can't put our feet down, and it's a little bit uncomfortable. And then Benny will want to be on the bed as well, so we'd have the cat and the, uh, and the dog on the bed. when I get up late about having lunch sometimes I'm eating breakfast at lunchtime so I'm having lunch at like mid-afternoon and then I'm having like an uh, evening um, evening thing at um, dinner or whatever tea or whatever you want to call it at like um, 9 or 10 o'clock that's for my bedtime that suits me that's why I, I used to stream a lot later than I do now Oh, you're making, I said I wasn't tired today, Webs, but you're making me feel tired. Yesterday, oh my god, I wasn't exactly dozing off, but I was getting close, I was like... It's another reason I started streaming earlier, because I'll be like this. On stream. See you a bit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. 
like those frogs that Betty catches. Betty my cat catches. She doesn't catch them at the moment because it's winter and there are any frogs around, but when the frogs start coming into the pond again, she'll be after them. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Pull one off, pull the good chain off. Try to get some work done. Okay. Oh, it's good to see you stopping in anyway, one out. Hope you have a good day. Okay, thanks for the thanks appreciate the lurk as well. Six inches snow, it's warm here today. Very mild. When we get snow, we don't tend to get very much for very long. Thank you. 
ribbit, 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 Totally not looking at my score. Uh, 28. My level at the level I'm on. I mean, my score is 78,000. Or 7,800. Or 78,000. thousand really would be a good score. Thank 
two columns that we need dealing with. Still four isn't bad. Awful change to get. I thought the thing is stuck, but it hasn't, it's just sped up, I think. That's on 37. <laughs> does he want to have his lunch when he get, does he want to have his lunch ready when he gets out of the shower well, then, is that what it is? <laughs> If you can take a 10 minute shower. Oh, you're going drive through. Okay. So, oh yeah, because she said about Taco, Taco Bell in the snow or something. Yeah, well, maybe it'll be it'll be a bit later than twelve, probably then. I haven't had Taco Bell for ages. I can't have Taco Bell because we don't have them over here. But when I lived in the states, I used to have them sometimes. And I tell you, the, I said the other day, uh, the one uh, fast food place from the states that I miss is uh, is uh, Arby's. I love Arby's. Yeah, I should imagine they've cleared the main roads. Unless you live somewhere where you've got to go through small roads to get onto a main road. But... Okay, we're, 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 we're no more ribbit ribbit. No more ribbit now. We've got ah instead. Thank <laughs> you. 
push that up a little bit. We had a dog on the other one uh, a couple of levels ago before the frog. I don't know what this guy's supposed to be. I'm sure if I played Yoshi's Island, I'd have a. I know. I should have gone through as a six. I was robbed out of that one. I had a subway for lunch. Nice chili chicken delivery. So I didn't have to go out and get it. I think you can go and get them, but you're not allowed to sit in and eat them, but you can go and get them and pick them up, I think.
going to have had a four if I'd have gone up, uh, skewed it up at the right speed. But such is life. Hey, you doing some work? Afternoon shift, yeah? I suppose you have to do a certain amount of work in a day, but I suppose working from home is uh, at least one advantage is a bit more flexible. I suppose again it depends on what you're doing and what has to be done in a certain amount of time, but... I remember working, working until 12. One thing I used to find when I used to have to work early, early shifts and stuff, was that um, although I was never very good at getting up in the mornings, I'm still not, um, I did find that it felt good to be off work by afternoon. I remember going home where I lived with my parents. And saying, oh, I'm done for work for today. And my dad said, well, I'm still having my day. And I'm like... Dad, bless him. Can't believe it's almost been a year since we asked him. It was April. It was April last year. If I remember. No, my uh, my dad. He uh, I lost my dad through COVID last year, but my, my the cat was a couple of years ago. Ludie was a couple of years ago. Sorry if I'm being confusing. Switching from one subject to another. That's 
that's okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, it was something that, uh, if I didn't know, we'd know more about COVID, might have been able to be avoided, but... The problem was with Dad is he had a lot of... he did him, Both him and Mum had COVID, and Mum's recovered. In fact, she's due for her vaccination um, next week or a couple of weeks. She's, she's due for it soon. And... Um, he had a lot of underlying health issues. He didn't even tell us about half of them. That's why, rightly or wrongly, that's why I get so... I don't really talk about Kobe too much because I get so angry about things and I think that's why. So I just tend to just try and avoid it. <laughs> it comes up and it's, you know, it's, you know, something that we've not, you know, got to remember, but... lose this in a minute. Either Quebs is busy working or half asleep. I'm thinking the working. Totally without looking at my level, level 30. <sighs> Level 30. Shy guy, no? Now?
There's usually something about this side. I'm not going to attempt to do the shy guy noise. So don't expect me to even attempt it, because I ain't going to do it. Ludi saying, please stop jamming. Cat Jam saying no. Well, Ludi would, Ludi would tell him as well. In no uncertain terms. She would have told him. She's frying with people, but with other cats. Oh, she's not like other cats at all. Including uh, Betty and Benny. It was really weird when Betty, Betty had some kittens when we first moved because we hadn't, you know, as, as I probably told you before, she just turned up outside and she hadn't been spayed and she was, we found out she was pregnant. She had, she actually had a litter of kittens, which unfortunately all died, but we had to let her have those before we could get her fixed. Oh my God, have you ever tried to sleep with a cat in heat in the bedroom? Oh, God, that's awful. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, Ludi was lovely. It was a one kitten that survived for a little bit longer. And Ludi just was lovely. She just stayed away. She gave Betty the respect. We thought, oh God, what's she going to do? But she was just... She just knew. And she just gave Betty the space. But yeah, trying to sleep with a cat in heat. Oh my God. It was sad about the little kittens, but I think there was a problem at the vets. We took her to the. We, we, she had a scar, and they assume that when a female cat has got a scar on the side, she's been spayed. So they said we don't want to really do too much, you know, see how she is. So, lo, so we took her back to the vets, and the vet check, checked. The second time, he checked. He said, no, she, she's fine, she's fine. And he gave us some medication for a, um, for some infection she had. And uh, he said, she's not pregnant, she's not pregnant, she's not pregnant. And um, he messed around, had a look at her and gave us some medication. And then she had a litter of kittens and lost them all. So I don't want to lay the blame, but... We haven't been back to that vet since. Well, we've been to that vet to practice, but he's that particular vet is no longer there. But she's all sorted now, all of our cats are sorted. Maisie. Betty and Benny. Somebody, I don't know what's happened to Betty, whether she had been dumped, but we tried to find an owner. There was no microchip, couldn't find an owner. So we just, uh, she disappeared, then she disappeared. She'd been coming around, then she disappeared for a few days. And we said, right, if she comes back, we're taking her in before something happens to her. So uh, we took her in. And she's been with us. She's the cat we've had for the longest, and that she's the youngest. You see, I didn't, like I said, I didn't think I'd like dogs. I had no desire to have a dog. 
I've never hated dogs. I've always been wary of dogs I don't know. Um, and then my wife asked if she was interested in getting a dog, specifically a, a rescue greyhound. And I was like, well, we got him and he's fine. I don't want to be without him now. I'll take him for a walk every day. Start me with dogs. Sometimes you just don't know until you actually have one. Cats are their own creatures, though. They're not. They don't have an owner. You don't own a cat. A cat. A cat lives with you. You don't own it. <laughs> <coughs> with dogs, you own. Cats, you don't. If I'd have, I mean, my wife is my second wife, and uh, we've not had kids. Neither of us have got kids at all, and we're now getting to. The, and with my wife's health issues and our age and everything, I don't think we're gonna ever have them. But maybe if I'd have got together with my wife when I was younger. But I'm quite happy. Nothing against people that do have kids, but I'm quite happy not to have them. It just doesn't suit me, to be honest. Your cats are affectionate. Our cats are in their own way. Maisie, though, she hates being picked up. If you pick, well, none of our cats like being picked up, um, but they'll struggle. Maisie will have your bloody hand off. But other than that, she. The only problem is she gets on my desk for um for fuss, for affection, and if I try to then reach down and use my mouse on the computer, she'll bite my hand, and she'll bite hard. It's the only problem with her. Benny gets on my desk too, but Benny will just lay down and go to sleep on the desk, whereas Maisie will, will uh, she wants her affection, and she's fine, but if you show her that you're not giving her the affection that she wants, she'll have your hand off. like that she'll she'll want to go out in the mornings she'll want to go outside and she'll sit there and she'll meow 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 until one of us wakes up and lets her out or she'll sit there and she'll stare at, at, at you while you're sleeping and you'll know she's there you'll be dreaming or something and all of a sudden you'll see Betty in your dream and you'll wake up I know that sounds really really weird but she really can stare you down even in your sleep or you'll sense she's there you won't necessarily see her but you'll you will see I have seen Luli and General 
in my dreams and when I woke up and they've been standing there staring at me trying to get my attention. So they can get your attention through your sleep. That sounds funny but they they can do it. They can Betty doesn't tend to do that to me, she tends to do that to my wife. Cats and general, they're allowed in the bedroom. But I can see why you probably would not want them in there. Normally they're pretty good. I don't want this. What I want to do is I want to do versus. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. I don't know why it does this. It's only on the cutscene screens. Yeah, I won. Thanks for the GG, well out. Oh, she's purring, is she? Your cat?
Not the one that you had the special uh, shoes for the other day then. That one or the other one? Uh, that was the, yeah, that was the grey one that uh, you showed us the other day. My coffee's getting cold here. Getting cold, that coffee was cold. I forgot about it. You want the four, the, tra uh, the chains, otherwise you're gonna, so you can send blocks. Oh, cool! Uh, the ones you uh, told me you bought the other day, Quebs. Nice. Oh, this bloody thing. I don't know why, why it does this. Only on here. If I play the panel to pod on the Switch, you don't do it. But both panel to pod and Tetris Attack do that. Only on those screens, though. Clearly, if you did it on the whole screen, because I would not be able to, on the whole game, would not be able to play. Freaking block.
He is so finished. I hear Ribbit too many times though, because if I hear Ribbit, it means he's sending blocks over to me. And that I don't want. It does seem easier than the panel to pawn um, two player mode, but it, versus mode. And I've got it set to easy difficulty level, but it's still not. It's, it's still quite tricky. And if you lose lose your train of thought, you know, I've about had it now. Look. If you start to get Okay, one hour. Have a good lunch. See you around. Thank you for being here. Uh, to the pip. Cheerio. Oh, you think she's already got a new dog? Ooh. Like I say, we're working on it too, Quebs. We'll end up with another dog soon. We want another one. Like as, as with you, we want one similar to Jen. So either a, a Greyhound or a Galgo or something similar. Galgo is basically a Spanish Greyhound anyway, but they're a little bit smaller than 
seeing this grey house. Still didn't get me though. Which is why I think this would be good to practice for actual panel upon two player mode. Very much concentration. I'm in no way dozing off today. I have not dozed off today at all. Yesterday, perhaps, but not today. Oh. 
that was a little bit more close. Quite a lot more close. What time is it? Oh, yeah, I still thought it was early. sent me a nice present look, a nice block. <coughs> Thank you Mr Shy Guy for sending me the block. Nice try, Shy Guy, but no can do. It's not going to take a break. I will be back in a little while.
I am back. Thanks, Trap Shot, for the welcome back. Got him. Got the bastard. First boss fight. You just gotta be quick enough.
teacup, Yorkie. Oh, one of the little tiny ones. Oh, bless. Congratulations, you won. Good luck when you challenge the next level. What, what mode are we going to go for now? Time trust or stage clear or puzzle? Let's try a time trial. <laughs> yeah, little rat dog. <laughs> oh dear. That's not a bad score. Not a bad one.
<clears throat> Over a thousand is still acceptable. Around could have cost me. <laughs> Under a thousand, not to worry. I used to save in my scores up. Right, right, right. 
Ribbit. The chains there. Eh? I think that will respect just, uh, reflect just as well on my store. Hey G Force, uh no. This one doesn't. You don't not force to reset. Saves my scores as well.
much as I hate the noise that the shy guy makes, it is uh, a positive thing to be hearing it. At least in this mood, anyway. Stage clear time. Get in there. Bloody stubborn thing up. So far, so good.
One four. Have I played Stage Clear on this before? Yeah, I have. This seems to be, especially in the Versus mode, seems to be slightly easier than the Panels Upon. So I don't know whether that's just because of the, I'm playing it on a, on a keyboard instead of a crappy controller, or whether it's because they have changed difficulty spikes slightly, but it's not, still not that easy, but it's easier slightly. Round two. Look at me, I'm the kitty. Thank you. 
Another one bites the dust, as they say. Columns down now. Thank you, what else? Uh, what else for GG? Welcome back. Did you get your um, tacos? Okay, fair enough. Wendy's is still decent. Again, that's something else we don't have here, but having lived in the US for seven years, I kind of, uh, it was a long time ago, but I'm sure uh, these things are still pretty much the same as they've always been. Thank you. 
Yeah, but it's food. I was looking at it this way. I I don't exactly eat very healthily. Probably not as healthy as I should. But I uh, I do try and exercise. I like an exercise bike and I walk the dog. I do try and do things to burn the calories off. So I don't know if I've lost any weight since I've been using the bike, but I do feel that my muscles have uh, firmed up a bit around my stomach and my groin area, which is good. I had a hernia repair down there. You don't really want to know that stuff, but I had a hernia repair a few years ago and I don't want to have too much weight. Yeah. Alright, uh, 2 5, last one of stage 2. Yeah, sometimes you don't realise uh, until you lose a little bit of weight how much better it can make you feel. But it's all a matter of pre most of it. Unless you've got any specific health issues, most of it's a matter of preference of where you want to be at. It's more difficult during the pandemic because you can't do things like go to the gym and and uh, you can't go out and walk as much. Can't try to go to places so much. There are still things you can do. I should get on that old beat saver and get going with that. <coughs> Probably not uh, on stream. I have streamed it before, but. Circus, the Victory Circus music.
got to get a bit of a beat saber. chance of letting it rise up a bit further. I mean, I know the PlayStation VR, the PSVR is a little bit, a few years old now, but I still get quite a lot of enjoyment out of it, and I still enjoy the, it's still a, a very immersive experience. I mean, I haven't, I haven't had it very long, I only got it last year, my wife got it for me for a Christmas present actually, but I had it a little bit earlier than Christmas. Two completed. I'm still looking. What I'm looking for is a PS5, but I cannot find one. No one's ever got any in stock, apart from people selling them on eBay for ridiculous prices. I ain't. I ain't do. I don't want one that badly. Phasmophobia and VR would be. You see, if I, we were to play that, I couldn't play it on uh, VR because the only VR, unless it's cross-platform, I'd, I'd probably get it on Steam. But Somebody wanted me to play Five Nights at Freddy's in uh, VR for Halloween, and I was like, Whoa. Five Nights at Freddy's is just jump scares. I suppose Phasmophobia is as well, but... It's got the atmosphere too. You're not just sitting there waiting for something to make you jump. I like something with a little bit of atmosphere to it as well. new Final Fantasy coming out, isn't there? But even that's not going to be an exclusive, I don't think. There's nothing really new for it at the minute. 
I'm in no hurry. I just, you know, eventually, presumably, now things will settle down and you'll be able to get them. There we go. Yeah. Now for the final stage of level three. Now we get to have a go Bowser. I don't expect I'll be able to do it, but...
I never get on, never get on with him. I can always say when I buy things that, that, you know, if I'm going to get my money's worth, it's like when I buy games. I've got loads of games, and I've, if I was to sit down now and try and complete every single game that I have, I probably wouldn't live long enough, and I'm not joking. But if uh, I can get my money's worth out of a game, that's fine. Well, I still get to go to Ribbit Ribbit now, so... Froggy Ribbit! Not looking good. Okay, uh, G-Force, thanks for popping in. Have a good day. What are we? Three and a half hours. Ooh. <coughs> gonna have me shower. So I think that's what I'll do. Um, so I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for being here. And I should be back tomorrow, probably with some more of this. And enjoy the rest of your day. One hour. Uh, G Force is gone. Quebs, trap shot. Anyone else who's been here and who's still here. 